my piles. I call to order the Gurney Village Board regular meeting of January 8, 2024. Roll call, please. Thomas. Present. Thorstenson. Here. Woodside. Ross. Here. Garner. Here. O'Brien. Present. Five present, one absent. If you all stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everybody. Uh, on for the approval of the consent agenda. Is there a motion? Second. Motion by Trustee Baumas, second by Trustee O'Brien. Roll call, please. Baumas. Aye. Thorstenson. Yes. Ross. Aye. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Five aye. Okay. Item number one, approval of the minutes from the December 18th, 2023 meeting. Item number two, approval of reduction in letter of credit for Bellwater Place to $33,880. Item number three, Approval of setting a bid date of January 30th, 2024 for the Public Works Roof Repair Replacement Project. Item number four, appro approval of payroll for period ending December 15, 2023 in the amount of $1,005,180.75. Item number five, approval of payroll for period ending December 29, 2023 in the amount of $1,001,218. Item number six, Approval of bills for period ending January 8, 2024, in the amount of $605,742.62. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Trustee Garner, second by Trustee Thorstenson. Roll call, please. Baumas. Aye. Thorstenson. Yes. Ross. Aye. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Bye bye. Motion carries. On to petitions and communications. It's the approval of my recommendation to appoint Selene Beltran as Deputy Village Clerk. I know Selene is present here. Would you like to stand? <laughs> thank you very much for doing that. And I also recognize your families here tonight, so thanks for coming out. How about, uh, you want to come and get a picture? <laughs> Stage this, Austin, so we're not in the background. Yeah. There we go. We just gotta heat them up. It'll go. No reports, no old business. Oh, motion. Do we need? Okay. All right. Sorry. Um, is there a motion to Someone. approve? Motion by Trustee O'Brien, second by Trustee Ross. Roll call, please. Thomas. Aye. Thorstenson. Yes. Ross. Aye. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Bye bye. Almost didn't do it formally there, Selena, so you would have to come back again. So sorry about that. Uh, on to reports and old business, there being none, right? Correct. Over to new business, approval of ordinance 2024, granting a zoning text amendment to article 2.1, definition of general terms to address body modification establishments pursuant to the Gurney zoning ordinance. Pat? Sure, so the first two items under new business are related to each other. Uh, had a memo from our planning manager, Tracy Velkover on this. So this was actually staff initiated um, after an increasing number of requests from beauty and hair salons to offer microblading and lift blushing as ancillary services. So microblading, for those that don't know, is a semi-permanent technique for enhancing the appearance of the eyebrows uh, where they scratch pigment into the skin using a hand tool. Lip blushing, uh, kind of the same procedure, uh, and, and enhance uh, the lips and around the lips uh, with some semi-permanent ink. Uh, these services, uh, when they're ancillary, uh, 
would cause a business to be uh, classified as a body modification es establishment by our current definitions. So what we need to do is exclude them, uh, similar to what we do for ear piercing right now. So what staff did was uh, come up with definitions for both uh, microblading and lip blushing, and then listed those as ancillary services, uh, which makes them exempt um, from requiring um, being considered a, a body modification establishment. Body modification establishments uh, come with uh, a special use requirement, a thousand dollar annual fee, uh, some separation requirements. So uh, really uh, doesn't fit into to that definition. So uh, the first one here addresses the definitions uh, and the exemption on the zoning ordinance side. The second one adds the definitions and the exemptions on the municipal code side. So it was before the Planning and Zoning Board. Uh, there was no comments from the public uh, and passed uh, fit, unanimous favorable recommendation for your consideration. Any questions or comments? Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Motion second. by Trustee Thorsonson, second by Trustee Garner. Roll call, please. Thomas. Aye. Thorsonson. Yes. Ross. Aye. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Bye-bye. Motion carries on to item number two, approval of ordinance 2024. 02. Amending chapter two, section 22.200 related to definition of body modification tattoo establishments within the Gurney Municipal Code. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second by Trustee Balmas. Second by Trustee O'Brien. Roll call, please. Balmas. Aye. Thorstenson. Yes. Ross. Aye. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Bye-bye. Motion carries on to item number three, approval of ordinance 2024. 03. Authorizing execution of an agreement between the Village of Gurney and the Illinois Department of Transportation for intersection improvements at US Route 41 and Stern School Road, state contract number 62W53. Pat? Sure, so Nick mentioned this a little bit during the capital budget presentation. So IDOT's looking to improve the intersection at Stearns and 41 to help traffic flow and safety, so they're Looking at uh, some additional uh, additional southbound right turn lane and left turn lane, uh, second left uh, turn lane on northbound US 41, second right turn lane on eastbound Stearns, and then additional westbound receiving lanes on Stearns School. So as you go around the corner there. Uh, the issue is, uh, from our perspective, is our water mains in the way. So it's underneath the pavement right now. Uh, Nick stated uh, earlier, duct iron uh, water main. So uh, we need to get that out of the way. Um, which is actually uh, benefit from our perspective, not having it under the pavement and then replacing it with newer material. Um, also responsible for the Opticom system um, on the signals there uh, that police and the fire department utilize. So uh, this agreement um, is our uh, financial obligation to the project, uh, which we estimate a little under $310,000, uh, which would be paid in two installments. So the first is due upon the contract award in the amount of 80%, and then the second, um, when the project is done, uh, pay our remaining uh, dues uh, to the state. So pretty boilerplate contract. We've seen these in the past. Um, not uncommon for us to have uh, some costs associated, whether it's water main or sidewalk or anything. So in this case, it's water main and the Opticom system. Any questions or comments? Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second by Trustee Ross. Second by Trustee Ross. Uh, roll call, please. I think it was. O'Brien and then Ross, sorry. Thomas. Aye. Thorstenson. Yes. Ross. Aye. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Bye-bye. Motion -bye. carries on to item four, approval of ordinance 2024. 04. Authorizing the execution of amendment number one to the intergovernmental agreement regarding the development of the plan and agreement to consolidate participating Lake County public safety answering points. Pat. Sure. Uh, so the village bo board is aware of this effort. It's been going on for quite some time. Gurney's played a pretty uh, significant role in it. Back in July of 2022, we approved an agreement that basically said uh, we would participate um, with other uh, members to work on developing a plan to consolidate uh, 911 dispatch services uh, within Lake County. That uh, IGA had a term of 18 months, so it's getting ready to expire here at the end of 2024 continue to make good progress. Uh, we've got agencies uh, transitioning into single software platforms. Uh, the documents that actually establish the entity have been drafted. They're currently under review by legal. Uh, the facility's under construction down in Lake County, so they're going vertical uh, down on the county's campus at Winchester in 21. 
uh, a 200 page absence of recommendation reports been finalized and released and then the working groups continue to meet um, and we're working on cost sharing models as far as uh, what each <coughs> participant's share would be once this is up and running. So a lot going on. Um, progress is being made. Unfortunately, this IGA that says we'll all get together and work on this expires here um, at the end of uh, February. So this IGA uh, that's before you is basically an extension of that. Extends it out 12 months. We don't think we'll need that much time. It also substitutes in Lake County for the Lake County Sheriff. So I think everyone's aware Lake County Sheriff has uh, indicated um, that they will not be participating in that at this point in time. So the county is gonna step in um, into the role. Uh, otherwise, just a few other small uh, changes just based on um, actually how this has been running over, over the past 17 months, so that really aren't of any significance. So this just shows our uh, willingness to continue on in the process. There's no financial uh, contribution that comes along with that. We're still working underneath that initial $400,000 that all the participating agencies each put in 50 towards that. That funding's still available and being used, so there's no financial ask at this point. This is just an extension of the the current IGA. <clears throat> Any questions or comments? Motion to approve. Motion by Trustee Garner. Second. Second by Trustee Thorstensen. Roll call, please. Balmas. Aye. Thorstensen. Yes. Ross. Garner. Aye. O'Brien. Aye. Bye bye. Motion carries. On to public comments. If anybody would like to make a public comment, uh, they could step up to the microphone, state their name. Uh, there being none, is there a motion to adjourn? Second. Motion by Trustee Balmas, second by Trustee O'Brien. Roll call, or not roll call. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned.